everyone. Welcome to our session on delivering network security using AIOps for next-gen firewall. Many aspects of delivering network security continue to be laborious and reactive. Join us for a discussion on how AIOps for next-gen firewall enables operational efficiency and visibility in delivering network security. I am Paddy Narsimamurthy, Director of Product Management. I am joined here by my colleague Suresh Venkatraman, Director of Product Management. We will start the session by showing you how proactive and predictive insights from AIOps help improve the availability and performance to get ahead of a developing issue before it manifests as a business disruption. We will follow that up with a deep dive on threat insights that help you understand how protected your organization is. Let us look at the core problems AIOps helps solve. Customers are unaware of their security posture and don't have the product expertise to maximize utilization of security functionality or insights into misconfigurations. This leads to gaps in their security posture and puts them at a greater risk of a breach. Customers lack the visibility and product knowledge to prevent business disrupting incidents due to firewall related errors. Once impacted, they spend immense time and resources reacting to the situation, trying to determine the root cause, while under tremendous pressure to bring the business back online. Organizations want to get more out of their existing security investments, but are challenged today because they don't have visibility into the threat landscape or the value of their security layers. AI Ops for Next Gen Firewall redefines firewall operational experience by interpreting predicting, and resolving problems before they become business impacting. It also continuously improves security posture by optimizing configuration to the dynamic environment based on best practices and policy recommendations. It empowers network security operations teams to become proactive with ML-powered anomaly detection and actionable insights into the health and performance of the entire deployment. We will be able to predict any failures before they happen. If a firewall is going to reach capability, we will be able to predict that before it happens and customers will be able to take predictive action. In addition to this, one can understand all the critical threats in your network that your best in security prevents across your infrastructure and ones that need attention. These views are powered by leveraging network data and threat intelligence. Once again, this is the industry's first AIOps solution for next-gen firewalls. We launched AIOps early this year, and ever since, we have been adding capabilities to it. In this session, we will cover a few of these capabilities that enrich your understanding of your firewall deployment and ensure full utilization and maximal security outcome from your firewalls. AIOps for next-gen firewall is available as both a free tier and a premium tier product. We hope you take advantage of several of these capabilities. I will now invite my colleague, Suresh Venkatraman, to walk you through the proactive health capabilities. Thanks, Paddy. Hi, everyone. Let's start by talking about how AIOps helps you improve your operational efficiency of managing your firewalls with proactive insights into the firewall's performance, availability, and scale. Let's look at the state of the market. NetSec operations have been around for the better part of three decades now. Yet the challenges faced by this team continue to remain largely the same. Network security configuration and operations is largely a manual and a reactive process. We've heard the headline-grabbing implications of this statement. Misconfigurations will cost 99% of firewall breaches through 2023, according to Gartner. The Ponemon Institute estimates that the average cost of a data center outage in 2016 was over $740,000. AIOps helps the NetSec admin get ahead of business disrupting incidents with proactive insights that help you avoid a problem from happening in the first place with purposeful info and with purposeful insights that allow you to make decisions with confidence. Let's look at each of these angles starting with proactive insights. 
I'm going to explain how proactive health insights from AI ops helps us get ahead of business disrupting incidents with the help of three examples. Let's take each of them in turn. The first one I'm going to talk about is the proactive insights with zone protection profiles. You may know this, customers can protect their internal systems and critical servers from flood attacks by enabling Palo Alto Networks' features such as zone protection. This is done by creating a zone protection profile that limits the connections made per second by protocol, with specific threshold alerts to alert, activate the protection, and limit the connections, and then applying the protection profile to the zone. However, this feature is often underutilized or not enabled at all. This is due to several reasons. Sometimes there is a mindset that attacks happen only on internet-facing networks. Many, flood, many traffic floods are not malicious. In fact, we have seen several customers that have inadvertently dosed themselves. Sometimes it comes to not knowing what threshold values to use. Customers do not know what the typical traffic density per protocol on these zones are, and so they do not know what to set for these values. And finally, customer networks are ever-changing, and throughput, connections made per second, etc., vary as businesses evolve. Threshold values that are configured can get outdated and need to be updated with changes to the network. So why does this matter, you ask? Basically, getting the flood protection setting right is a balancing act between, between blocking legit business traffic on one hand versus allowing a very permissive network traffic volume and risking getting a flood attack on the other. Let us see how AIOps helps this situation. AIOps helps identify zones even in non-internet facing ones that do not have protections against traffic fl flooding. It recommends that protection profiles be added to these zones to reduce risk of drop traffic or sudden floods. Based on the observed traffic volumes, AI Ops will be able to guide the user on what threshold values to set. This has been a huge pain point for our customers who do not know what the setting should be. As your business grows, the network tra traffic patterns also change. AIOps continually mon monitors the interface traffic patterns and alerts you when it is time to change the thresholds. The alert from AIOps also guides users through references to help pages, knowledge base articles, etc., on how to configure these protection profiles for the identified interfaces. Of course, AIOps will also alert you if a flood is detected. With this feature, now you can apply flood protection settings on time, correctly, and with confidence. AI Ops will continually monitor the traffic volume and alert you when there is a need to adjust the settings based on traffic patterns in that zone. Let's go to a second example. Last year, our TAC team fielded close to 8,000 cases where the root cause of the issue was sourced to an expired certificate. Our customers are unable to figure out why a feature inexplicably failed while it was working just the day before. They spend enormous amounts of time trying to figure out what content, config, software, network change, whatever be, whatever the case may be, stopped some feature from working. Why did these customers not recognize what should be something simple to manage? Why is managing certificates non-trivial? Let's look at some reasons. Across our customers, certificate management varies from the simple managed by spreadsheet type to having a dedicated certificate management tool that connects to a certificate authority and renews these certificates. There's also the variety and volume issue. There are several types of certificates, signed by CAs, self-signed, etc., and the certificate renewal responsibility in many cases does not even reside in the NetSec team. And then finally, the volume. 
There are several features in PanOS that relies on certificate that rely on certificates. Global Protect VPN, User ID Agent, Terminal Server Agent, Captive Portal, Web UI Access to Admin Users, Email Server Profile are just a few. Now multiply this with the number of firewalls in your deployment. Reminds me of an incident. A UK-based customer's NetSec admin was on vacation when the decryption certificate expired and the organization was exposed to security risks. He had to cut, sh cut short his vacation to get the network back on track. AIOps flags certificates that are nearing their expiration date initially by creating a warning alert and increasing its severity to critical as the expiration date approaches. In this example, AIOps has flagged that the certificate is due to expire in seven days from now. But that's not all. AIOps also ties the feature that will be impacted and the feature's object that utilizes the certificate. So you can clearly understand what functionality is at risk when you get this alert. The user can also see the status of the other certificates in this device, on this device. As the paraphrased saying goes, a little preparation goes a long way in avoiding a lot of stress later. My third example of proactive health alerts is related to the physical health of the uh, firewall appliances. You may know that most firewalls ship with redundant power supplies. Failure of the active power supply is often not detected as the redundant power supply will take over. Which means, unless you know to look for it, it will not be noticed as a functionality degradation. No customer will call to complain about network access or performance issues. Now, if this is left undetected, and if the other power supply were to fail eventually as well, this would mean that the firewall is down, and that would lead to a business disrupting incident. This is an interesting alert. In most cases, the only remediation is to replace the faulty part. Palo Alto Networks customers can request an RMA of the failed unit via a support ticket. But why wait? This is an interesting alert. In most cases, the only remediation is to replace the faulty part. Palo Alto Networks customers can request an RMA of the failed unit via a support ticket. But why wait? AIOps allows you to create a support ticket from right within the alert. It autofills several fields that you will have to provide when you create a support ticket, such as the model number, etc., and can file a ticket for you, saving you time, improving accuracy of the data, and helping resolve the issue faster. I spoke to but just a handful of examples of where AIOps helps you with proactive insights into the firewall's performance, availability, and scale. There are several issues that AIOps de detects, and we have crammed as many of them here as we could. And with each drop of the software, we continue to add to this list. Let's now switch gears and look at how AIOps helps the NetSec admins with purposeful insights that allow you to make decisions with confidence. Here again, let's look at a couple of examples. In what is now a common practice among several software houses, for example, like Microsoft, Palo Alto Networks also has a product security incident response, or the PSERT team, that is responsible for disclosing any vulnerabilities that we are aware of in PanOS. When the PSERT team puts out a vulnerability advisory associated with a, specific exam with a specific version of PanOS, customers find it difficult to map the impact of the vulnerability advisory to the risk they face in their deployment. NetSec admins must strike a balance between minimizing their exposure to vulnerabilities, that is, they have to patch ASAP to later versions of software, versus avoiding unnecessary disruptions. For example, only upgrading if needed, or aligning the upgrade to a planned maintenance window if it is not urgent, etc. 
So, for example, if the advisory is on global protect, a customer does not have to initiate an emergency upgrade if they have not enabled global protect on that firewall. Additionally, if there is a choice of future versions for the customer to upgrade to, they have to decide which is the best version for the feature set they have enabled. And finally, there is always this question from the management when a new vulnerability is disclosed. How exposed are we to a new disclosed, newly disclosed vulnerability? This takes time to investigate and answer. AIOps answers these questions with a feature-based vulnerability detection capability. With the telemetry data from the firewalls, AIOps recognizes the features that have been enabled on the firewall. The product combines this information with the data from the PISA team's advisories on PanOS and the specific feature on which the vulnerability has been identified. And so AIOps can alert you only if the firewall is really vulnerable. That is, not only must the device be running a version of PanOS that is vulnerable, but it should also have enabled that feature that is affected by this vulnerability. So given any specific firewall, it flags all the unpatched vulnerabilities that affect it. So let's check out this alert. This is an alert on Panorama, which is running a really old version of PanOS. It generates this alert only when the vulnerability affects the feature that is enabled on this Panorama. AIOps also answers the corollary version of this question. Given a specific vulnerability, which firewalls in the environment are really in patch, uh, are in need of a patch urgently? This panel shows us all the vulnerabilities detected in this deployments, sorted here by the number of devices that are affected. Our critical vulnerability, the log4j from a few months ago, in case you're wondering, was listed here. With this capability, you can quickly identify which firewalls in the deployment are in need of a patch. Finally, AIOps even helps with planning the upgrade with an analysis of what version best suits the firewall. We'll talk about this in a little more detail in just a couple of minutes. Here's how effective this is. Our PISA team ran an analysis of a specific CV that we had disclosed last year. At the time of analysis, we analyzed the telemetry data from about 33,000 firewalls. Based merely on the software running on these firewalls, close to 10% of these firewalls were running a, ver a version that was vulnerable. But once we turned on the feature-based vulnerability detection capability, that number dramatically reduced to merely 17 devices. Let's go to the next capability here, the Software Upgrade Planner. There are several reasons why customers choose to upgrade their software version on their devices. They either want to get fixes for, vulner for the vulnerabilities in software, or the software version that they are running is nearing its end of life. It could be to get fixes for critical defects. It could also be for enabling new features that are available in newer versions of software. For any of the versions that they are considering, analyzing the known and resolved issues for the set of functionality enabled on that firewall is tedious. Mistakes in figuring out the software version that satisfies the above conditions could mean lost productivity or troubleshooting with the PanOS support team. The Software Upgrade Planner, which we currently have flagged under beta, automatically and periodically analyzes the configs of all the devices in the deployments and suggests the best software versions to upgrade to. The analysis is automatically run every seven days. The devices are first grouped by the major version of the software they run and then further by the model of the device. The analysis figures out the best maintenance version in each of the supported major release trains for that group of firewalls in the analysis taken together. The recommendation considers several factors, analyzing the vulnerabilities and issues in the various suitable upgrade versions for the features enabled on the set of the firewalls in the analysis. 
The recommendation also flags whether the recommendation is currently attack-preferred release, the number of vulnerabilities, and other software issues in the software version that might affect the features that the customer has enabled. For each version that AIOps recommends, the product also informs the user on what they should expect should the user choose to go to the recommended version. The analysis captures new features, which will be a zero list if the customer is already on that major release train, vulnerabilities in that version of software that affects some feature that is enabled on the firewall, and known software issues in that version of software that affects some feature that is enabled on the firewall. This allows the admin to make an informed decision on whether to choose the upgraded, to, to choose the recommended version, and if they do, what to expect once they upgrade. With this, the users can be better informed and better prepared for software upgrades. We looked at how AIOps's insights into the health of the firewalls across your deployment helps you become proactive and take decisions with confidence. Let's transition now to the, threats in, th to the threat insights surfaced by AIOps. Patty? We will now start by showing you AIOps, uh, how AIOps helps you gain a unified view into your users, applications, network, threats, and your security subscriptions. Let's start with the views that AIOps offers into your network. What you see here is a usage dashboard that provides insights into uploads, downloads, and data transfer. It also shows you locations from where traffic originates, users generating traffic, including the number of applications, files, threats, seen. These insights enable network security admins to identify any potential issues in their setup. With the download, share, and schedule capabilities, admins can now share periodic reports with their executives and other stakeholders. The application usage dashboard provides insights into the sanctioned, unsanctioned applications, usage risks, and application subcategories and details of users sharing the most data. Insights into application usage enables network security admins to view risks associated with all the applications traversing their network. Let's now see how AIOps helps you gain visibility into DNSS capabilities by providing you complete context around security events and traffic trends. Network security admins want the ability to view DNS activity so that they can evaluate how they are using DNS subscription and see if the way DNS is configured needs to be tweaked to ensure their organization continues to be protected from various threats. Admins also want the ability to periodically share reports on DNS activity seen in the network with their executives and other stakeholders in order to update them about the security posture of their organization. The DNS dashboard is a one-stop view into DNS traffic, high-risk DNS category, request trends, most access domains, and more. All you need is a subscription to the DNS license, and you can use this capability on the free version of AIOps. Wildfire, as you may know, protects against net new malware that is concealed in files, executables, and email links. Let's now see how AIOps helps you gain visibility into Wildfire's capabilities. Network security admins want the ability to view Wildfire stats so that they can evaluate how they are using Wildfire subscription and see if the way Wildfire is configured needs to be tweaked to ensure that their organization continues to be protected from various threats. Admins also want to view the Wildfire samples that were submitted and the verdicts received so that they can identify and investigate malicious file activity in the network. And what you see here is a dashboard that lets you accomplish all of this. It shows you malicious samples that Wildfire is most frequently detecting in your network, threat families, campaigns or actors that are most actively targeting your network, list of users most frequently targeted to deliver malicious samples, and much more. If you have a Wildfire license, you can now try this capability on the free version of AIOps. In addition to DNS and Wildfire views, AIOps also offers an executive summary view across your security subscriptions. To show to show you how Palo Alto Networks' security subscriptions are protecting your organization, 
we process data over a 90-day period to provide insights into high-risk applications, severe threats like exploits, malware, and C2, malicious web activity, file-based threats, including never-before-seen threats, and data loss. In addition to the summary view, the peer data in this dashboard gives you a view into your industry's threat landscape and how your security coverage compares to similar organizations. This industry data is also shown for subscriptions you're not using. This helps you to see if there are places where you can increase coverage to close security gaps. Here is a close-up of the kind of data that this dashboard provides. Here, you can see the work advanced threat prevention is doing to protect your organization. AIOps provides a view into all the data that your firewall generates via the log viewer. We have added the capability to drill down into details of indicators available on the logs. Let me show you an example of that. What you see here is a view of threat logs. Hovering over IP addresses will now present you an option to see details on total number of times IP address was detected in your network over the past 30 days, a graphical representation of action taken on an IP address, list of DNS requests that contain the IP address based on the Palo Alto Network's threat intelligence and third-party sources. In AIOps, you can now search on a security artifact and view the artifact's history and activity in your network, assess how prevalent the artifact is in your network, threat intelligence that Palo Alto Networks has based on analysis of all the traffic that we process and analyze, and third-party analysis findings for that artifact. I will now show you an example of what we have on a file hash. It's verdict, history of the file activity on your network, tags that help you understand if the file is part of any threat families or campaigns. We also show you the behavior while processing the sample in our sandbox environment, screenshots of the various process milestones captured during the sample analysis. We will now start by showing you a view that is powered by network data and rich threat intel that helps you understand how protected your organization is. A network security admin's goal is to keep the network secure. This includes monitoring and investigating any threats seen in the network and making required configuration changes to address gaps and to tighten security. Admins also want to view additional context around users who have been affected by threats and rules or profiles that are allowing or blocking threats so that they can take appropriate action to fix any security gaps. Today, one of the ways through which an administrator can accomplish this is by analyzing the threat logs. However, to understand the impact of threats seen, which threats are seen frequently, which users are impacted, which rules are allowing threats, admins need to investigate and manually correlate data across multiple sources such as threat intel, traffic logs, threat logs, and so on. This is time consuming and can lead to admins missing crucial threats that they need to look into. AIOps takes away that load and solves it for you. Here, we present to you Threat Insights that does all of this for you. This is available on the premium version of AIOps. In addition to the holistic view we saw earlier across various threat categories, Threat Insights also gives you a detailed view into impacted users, applications, and rules that allowed or blocked threats. With this, we come to the end of all the threat visibility capabilities that AIOps for Next Gen Firewall offers today. Once again, we presented to you industry's first AIOps for Next Gen Firewall, predictably better security, predictably better ROI. We are proud to share that Forrester announced Palo Alto Networks as leader in the Forrester wave. The highlights include how AIOps elegantly translates policy into best practices. For those of you who haven't had a chance to try AIOps, do sign up for the 90-day trial to check out all the capabilities we discussed so far. And you have questions, ask us at the AIOps Live community page posted here. While many insights in AIOps are powered by the telemetry from the firewalls in PanOS 10.1 and later, 
and your network traffic data that resides in the Cortex data lake, you can get started right away with AIOps BPA analysis by uploading a TSF file or gain visibility into the efficacy of your DNS and Wi-Fi subscriptions. Thank you for attending this session on delivering network security using AIOps for NextGen Firewall.